Pisces, hello, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading starting this new week of July the 10th up until July the 17th. Now, if you would like to watch the extended reading, you can now receive 50% off all extended readings, and you can find that link to the extended down in the description box below. Without further ado, let's jump right into your dominant energy first, and excuse the background noise. The AC broke down, and I had to get a temporary one that is a bit noisy for this video okay but so just be patient with me the next video uh, it should be fixed all right so let's see you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll wow and you have here the number one okay so if you see the number one 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 or 101 or just the number one that is an indication here where you are about to manifest there's some kind of um energy here of something that you've really been wanting the universe is telling you be patient it's almost here okay also the number one means that you are being guided in the right direction so pay attention to signs signal synchronicities tap into your intuition you are also being protected the number one 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 it's all about new beginnings as well some kind of a brand new beginning around the corner and in this particular image as you can see here it says awareness i know that you can see it in reverse okay but it's this is basically the magician okay this is the magician in you and so this is all about you know opening up your third eye chakra see how his third eye chakra is being activated. It's connecting to source energy. So there's something there related to you picking up on signs, signal synchronicities, becoming more psychic, right? You know, it's that you intuitively kind of are a little bit psychic yourself since you're very sensitive to energies around you, picking up on those vibrations. But now this is about, you know, you kind of, you know, manifesting your circumstances because this is kind of like an energy here that is telling you, hey, if you have been waiting for, the perfect moment to start a project to start with an idea a relationship because this reading can be in, in related to any area of your life okay my readings are general readings so it could be related to your love life career uh finances friends right it could be related to your boss or co-workers it could be to a relationship connection children whatever area of your life this is okay you take it as it resonates and also take whatever resonates from the reading and leave what does not all right so uh, again like i was saying here with awareness this is all about you stepping into the energy of the magician of you creating your own reality you know it's funny to say because everybody you hear it everywhere everybody wants to manifest oh i'm you know i'm learning about manifestation i want to manifest manifest this manifest that right not knowing that manifestation stepping into the power of the magician becoming that magician it comes with responsibility right because that means that if you do want to align with the energies of manifesting manifestation okay then that means that you have to take care of your thoughts you have to become aware right this is awareness that's literally what the magician is all about and little do people know that this is part of you know part of manifestation like the biggest part of manifestation is you becoming aware right the only crime sometimes in not being able to manifest or you know is unconsciousness is not being aware of what you're thinking what you are feeling okay a lot of people start complaining yeah well i've been trying to manifest a car i've been trying to manifest a relationship i've been trying to manifest money i've been trying to manifest the solution to this problem to this other issue and it's just not happening right it's just not happening for me and so that means that you're not really aware of the responsibility that being the magician comes with you're not taking care of your thoughts you're not taking care of your feelings your emotions this means that you have to literally wake up in the morning and on purpose think positive thoughts on purpose feel positive emotions for a lot of people that's that's the hard work right they would rather put an effort in the physical realm in the 3d realm then take a step back and tune into themselves and that's where the work of the magician is right if you want to manifest then you have to become more aware of what you're thinking catch yourself in the moment right if you if you're like kind of driving off to work and all of a sudden 
somebody cuts you off and you start thinking negative thoughts. Oh, you know, why did this person cut me off? And and then you're, you're just kind of like your mind just starts escalating one negative thing after the other, after the other. So you've got to catch yourself in the moment and say, you know what? No, it's fine. That person may have cut me off because who knows? Maybe, you know, I'm not supposed to be getting there at a certain time. I'm supposed to be delaying my arrival to that situation or to that place, right? Because there's something better for me by delaying, right, my destination. So this is the energy here of the magician that I'm talking about. Because I can tell you in every reading, okay, here's a magician, manifest, right? And you go off, you know, and you're just thinking manifest. Okay, I'm going to manifest but you're not becoming aware of your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions. And so now this is a reminder, okay, if I really want to step into the power of the magician, which the energy is there for you to do so, it's going to be a lot more easy for you to become aware of your surroundings and for you to actually manifest. But you've got to, again, become aware of what is it that you're thinking, Okay, are you thinking negatively? Are you thinking positively about that situation? Catch yourself, okay? What are you feeling? How are you feeling? Feel positive feelings on purpose. Think positive thoughts on purpose, right? Even if people tell you, oh, you're delusional. You know, like, that's that's not, you know, the way to manifest. Well, guess what? It is, okay? That's why it's ruled by the magician, right? Magic. He believes in magic right miracles all that good stuff so here with the number one and the magician awareness it's all about you manifesting there's a moment here that's coming in where you're going to literally be able to manifest anything that you want but just like you can manifest positive things if you don't catch yourself and your thoughts and your feelings on time and you're thinking negative thoughts and you're feeling negative feelings and you're trying to manifest you can also manifest something negative and that's where the responsibility of the magician comes in. Can you do that? I believe in you. I feel like you can, okay? Because that is in your dominant energy, meaning the energies around you are going to become a lot more feasible for you to do this. It's going to be a lot more easier for you to actually step into that power of the magician instead of waiting for your outcome to become better. You know, people sometimes with this energy, they wait for the right perfect moment in order to, you know, uh, start investing into their idea, into a career. They're like, no, not until the perfect moment shows up, right? Oh, and then, you know, if they want to manifest a love connection, oh, no, not until I'm ready, until, you know, I, I deal with this other issue, then I can manifest a love connection. Oh, not until this situation resolves in itself, then I can be happy. Not until I get the money that I want, then I can be happy. Not until I get the person that I want in my life, then I can be happy. Not until I get the career you know, that I want, then I can be happy. They're waiting for their outside circumstances in order to be happy. And this is telling you, no, the magician doesn't wait for anything to happen before he's happy, before he manifests. He literally creates his own reality by changing himself. He doesn't wait for his circumstances outside of him to change. He changes himself by becoming more aware of what he's thinking, what he's feeling. And that is where the test is here, right? Now, let's go ahead and jump into the tarot, but let me know in the comments below what this is all about, what this is pertaining uh, regarding you, your situation. How do you relate to this? Can you relate to this reading? Can you relate to that dominant energy being there, being present in your life? Because you're soon going to feel it. You're going to soon feel it. Again, take care of your thoughts because just like you can manifest something positive, if you don't become aware, you can also manifest something negative, okay? And you're going to become aware whether you want to or not of what you're manifesting because the energy of the manifestation is going to be happening left and right. This is a preliminary message that I just wanted to pop out, okay? And so you're going to be getting an offer. For a lot of you guys, it's going to be an offer of love, romantic type of situation. For others, it could be a job offer, a career offer, some kind of an offer. Let's figure out what this is all about, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into the tarot. I will be using the Rider Waite tarot, and I will be taking a look at your past, present, and future positions. I will also be taking a look at who and what is coming towards you, what is in your challenge position, how to overcome that challenge, and I will also be taking a look at your opportunity, and I think I said who and what is coming towards you, right? Who and what is coming towards you in your opportunity. All right, let me know in the comments below how this reading resonates for you, okay? 
um, how can you relate this in your life? Which area of your life is this happening? Because since I'm going to be going into different positions here, you can say, for example, well, in this position, that's happening in my love life. In this other position, that's happening in my career. And in this other position, that's happening in my family life. In this other position, that's happening in my personal life. Or this entire reading could just be related to one or two or three, whatever specific areas of your life. You take it as it resonates. Take whatever resonates from the reading and leave what doesn't because it's a general reading. Okay? Now let's go ahead and jump right in. But before I jump in, for those of you guys who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. My current viewers, you guys have already heard my recent message, okay, about the YouTube algorithm, but bear with me, be patient with me. Uh, I have newcomers here and I have to announce this. Uh, for those of you guys who already heard the message, you can fast forward, okay, a little bit. But for those of you guys who are new to my channel, I recently uh, told all of my current subscribers, okay, that I had been feeling a little bit, um, a little bit kind of, you know, down uh, because I had been seeing a very significant drop in views, right? I had been feeling very discouraged, rather. Uh, again, the drop in views um, and the drop in uh, likes, in subscribes, were kind of making me think like, okay, wait a minute. Are my viewers really enjoying these readings? Am I really kind of like helping them? Because I didn't really feel like that was the case because again, I saw a drop in views, likes and comments okay, and subscribe. So, I mean, you know, I, I couldn't think anything else. And so I'm so happy that I was able to be vulnerable with you guys and open up to my viewers. Okay. And so little did I know that the YouTube algorithm has been changing significantly. A lot of my viewers have told me that YouTube has been unsubscribing them involuntarily from my channel they thought that they were subscribed to my channel they double checked and guess what youtube unsubscribed them so do me a huge favor if you are a current subscriber or if you recently subscribed to the channel and if you stop seeing my videos because youtube has been hiding my videos from the feed from newcomers and from my current subscribers make sure that you double check to see if you're still subscribed to my channel okay if not resubscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and also when you hit the notification bell hit all because if you do not hit all since the youtube algorithm is now changing youtube will not notify you whenever i post a reading like i said youtube has been hiding my videos from newcomers they're encouraging you know um youtubers to encourage you guys to comment down below okay uh and also subscribe like you know all that good stuff turn on that notification bell but the comments down below are going to be very helpful to me and my channel so if you do enjoy these readings if you are enjoying my channel then um by all means i you know I encourage you now you you've encouraged me to stay here on YouTube now I'm encouraging you to support the channel by commenting down below if you do enjoy the readings let me know how this reading resonates for you which area of your life is this pertaining to even if it's just an emoji that you want to comment that helps okay again it doesn't cost you a thing by liking sharing subscribing to my channel and commenting down below hitting that notification bell and when you hit the notification bell hit all okay again thank you all so much for your support for your patience sorry i'm taking a little bit of time away from the reading but now let's go ahead and dive right in all right let's go ahead and see so you could possibly be dealing with the sign of uh, i see sagittarius for some of you guys i see the sign of libra taurus what else do we have here whatever sign this is at the bottom of the deck with the knight of wands yeah so this is all about you taking action now right the energy of the magician is very action oriented okay action oriented meaning he takes charge of his own circumstances in his own environment he doesn't wait for anything to happen on the outside before he can become happy the magician literally believes in himself. He believes in the power that he holds because he's so divinely connected with the universal forces, with God, with his spirit guides, with his angels. And so he's able to tap in quickly. Okay. And so that's here. That's this is what's indicating for you. Tap in, you know, to that spiritual part of you. If you've been disconnected from that spiritual part of you, it's time for you to disconnect because a lot of people who want to manifest, they're just about action, right? 
action is part of manifestation, but that's not all that manifestation is about. It's about connection first, right? It starts with you. It starts within first, and then you take inspired action. So I do see here that this is going to require you to feel passionate about something, right? Feel inspired, invigorated about whatever it is that you want to manifest. Instead of thinking negatively, like, oh, this is not going to happen, you know? This is all about passion. Look at this Knight of Wands. I mean, he's literally, the horse is jumping up. He's so excited, right? He's taking action. This is, this horse is, is uh, like moving forward, right? And also this Knight of Wands is all about passion, okay? It's all about action. It's all about something that makes you feel alive alive again. So if you've been feeling rather mm, kind of bored in a job, in a relationship or career or with your current circumstances, this is about you tapping into your own energy of the magician and reactivating that spark within you. A lot of you just need to reactivate that spark within you. Maybe you have a project that you've been wanting to work on, but you're like, oh, I don't know, you know, you kind of feel a little bit unmotivated, a little bit down, whether it's in a project, in a career, an idea that you have, in a relationship, in a situation that you're involved in. And so this is telling you, you have to tap into that energy. Nobody's going to come and knock on your door and, you know, motivate you and shake you up and tell you, hey, get motivated. No, no, no. You have to do this for yourself. That's what the magician does, right? And so I do see here that for others of you guys, you will be meeting a personality type who is this way. They're very extroverted. This individual is full of life, okay? They're going to help you uh, kind of like step outside of your comfort zone if you've been too much in your comfort zone. This can also be an energy here uh, full of ideas, okay? If you've been kind of like, you know, struggling with ideas, that kind of thing. And or this could also be some kind of romantic person here who is very passionate about you, uh, will be making you feel very passionate as well, okay? But again, it could be any um, area of your life, either love, career, right? It could be uh, a a career person here that you also meet or an offer here remember we saw an offer earlier an offer that's finally going to make you feel like oh my gosh this is the one that i've been waiting on right a career offer maybe right now you're at a job where you're just kind of like going through the motions and you're just kind of like on autopilot but you're not really feeling it anymore so there's going to be an offer here that's going to make you feel inspired and invigorated. Don't wait for that offer, though. You have to start feeling, you know, inspired, like start expecting it to come towards you. And it will. It's going to show up more quickly. That's the energy of the magician. Become aware of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, right? Catch yourself. Now, let me know in the comments below what that's all about, how this all resonates with you. Now, here in your challenge position, you also have here the ace of cups, the page of wands, and the five of swords. So in your challenge position, I do see here that you might find it a little bit challenging, like I said, to feel inspired, to feel invigorated. I do see here that for others of you guys, you find it a little bit challenging, okay, to open up your heart. For some of you guys, you have closed off your heart to either love, either, you know, your passions, you know, for whatever reason. Maybe right now you're stuck in a situation that is not allowing you to do that. And so that's part of the challenge to reactivate that passion within you, that energy of inspiration within you, the energy of creativity, okay? Now, I'm also seeing here that for some of you guys, in your challenge position, you are either dealing with an individual, so I'm going to give you different scenarios. So for some of you guys, you're dealing with a person, personality type here, who is rather immature, okay? I see here that it might be a little bit difficult for you to take a, uh, a step forward, okay, towards something new because this person might not know what they're doing and so you kind of intuitively feel that. For others of you guys, it's challenging to deal with a personality type or a situation here, whether career-related, love-related, family-related, that is kind of like, you know, bringing a lot of trouble, okay? arguments. It could also be that there is some kind of a disagreement happening between you and a person, between you and a situation. And I feel like this disagreement has to do with the fact that either somebody is disconnected from their heart, they're not doing things with their heart, okay? And they're doing things rather with their ego, right? There's some kind of a very egotistical individual that kind of deal for some. This person might be, you know, pushing their buttons to see if they get a reaction from you. Don't react. Let me know in the comments below what that's all about. In the recent past, you have here the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, in the recent past, I see here that there was some kind of an energy where you were kind of feeling yourself, right? You were feeling yourself, whether you were making a lot of money 
or you were single and you were like, okay, I'm at peace, I'm single, I'm enjoying my singlehood. For others of you guys, you started your own business, your own career, you were manifesting. You literally were manifesting. There was a lot of money, a lot of abundance, a lot of stability. For others of you guys, you were enjoying the fruits of your labor. You were doing nice things for yourself, right? And I do see here that you met somebody. You met somebody here who was very loving okay who was very caring i feel like this individual here with the king of cups this is a personality type who may not be as fun extroverted in nature but you can count on them this is a very loyal you know a uh, person that you can count on their energies are a little bit more you know chill right but i feel like there is a lot of love in the situation however one person here ended up closing off their heart okay whether you towards them or them towards you if this is some kind of an energy here regarding career matters family matters or friend matters anything other than love then that means that you started to close yourself off to this energy okay whether you started saving your money because you were like oh my god i'm spending a lot of money on this situation on this person you know there, there's an energy here where perhaps you know you weren't realizing how much money it was costing you and so some of you guys were like oh my god i've got to save my money right this is this is too much money that i'm spending on this situation or on yourself right for others of you guys it could be the fact that if this is a career situation it's almost as if you know um you engage in this new venture in this new project idea business whatever this is kind of thinking that okay if i invest in this situation this person's also going to invest equally or if i go into this new career then you know you were promised that you were going to pay this and you're going to pay that and you're going to get these perks and those perks and i feel like your boss ended up kind of you know um taking a step back on that like you didn't receive what you thought you were going to receive if this is a relationship somebody here started to close off their energy and if this is you you start to realize hey you know what i feel like i'm putting in too much in this situation career job family love whatever this is and you were the one who started to close uh, off yourself okay let me in the comments below what that's all about in your present energies you also have here the six of uh, cups the six of excuse me swords and the empress so right now i do see that for a group of you guys not all of you for a group of you the past is coming back in whether somebody who misses you or whether you miss somebody here from the past but there's some kind of energy there of nostalgia of like oh you know you know thinking about the good old days about that person or that person thinking about you that kind of vibe okay but right now i do see here that even if like let's say for example this is you maybe there's some kind of energy there where you might be thinking did i make the right decision right or you might be catching yourself thinking about that person or that job in the past or that um opportunity that you left in the past whatever it was okay i see that right now you're kind of like telling yourself you know what no i'm just going crazy i'm brushing it off my shoulders and i'm going to move on so i see you moving on i see you moving on from somebody here from the past if the past comes back around right now i feel like you're not going to give them a, se a second chance i feel like you're moving on okay for others of you guys it could be the other way around okay but i feel it's you i feel like you're moving on from the past if you it's if it's been rather difficult for you to leave something here that you started in the past whether a career a job ride um, a family member friend something here from the past or an idea that you've been working on i feel that right now you're making a decision to now love yourself right to look out for yourself and you're moving on whether you're moving from one place to another from one job to another from one career to another from a relationship to something new you know but i see you moving on you're going through a transition period or soon will be going through a transition period in your life because changes are needed here with the empress also as soon as you step away from that past job past connection something here that yes at one point it held meaning at one point it held you know perhaps there was an emotional attachment to a place to a job to a person i see here that now you're kind of like you know being strong enough to say to yourself you know what no i need to move on in order to find fulfillment real fulfillment because it's like you're realizing that that's no longer fulfilling you it was just familiarity that was keeping you there a lot of times people are unaware right that's why you have awareness it's like you're getting this eureka moment wait a minute why have i been in that job for so long if i don't even enjoy it if you're not even getting paid what you know that you were promised to get paid or in that relationship or helping that family member that's not even helping you back right or whatever this is it's like finally you're realizing oh wait a minute it's because 
it felt so familiar the energy right sometimes it's like people are addicted to a pain okay from where you learned to take some kind of a twisted kind of pleasure a lot of times people are so addicted to helping a person heal or your partner or your friend or your lover or your loved one or in a career environment helping your boss right um, you know but you're not thinking about yourself it's like okay maybe you get pleasure out of helping people out of helping others which is great but not to the point where it's to your detriment not to the point where it starts affecting you your life your desires right and so I feel like now you're kind of realizing wait a minute this is affecting me right this is kind of like an addictive cycle so there's something here related to you now finally healing this part of you and moving on because i see here that now instead of over giving of yourself you're stepping into the energy of the empress whether you are male or female the empress energy is a very feminine uh, energy whether you're going to be meeting a feminine energy okay that's going to te teach you about this or for others of you guys whether you are embracing now your feminine energy instead of putting in the work and the effort into something that you're like you know what that's not working for me now you're receiving you're learning how to receive like the empress the empress knows how to receive right the empress knows how to how to um you know use her gentle strength in order to get what she wants instead of exhausting herself right the empress knows her value and she knows her worth and so i feel that that is something here that you're coming into awareness about okay knowing your worth knowing your value and when you start feeling this new way everything around you is gonna start growing okay you're gonna see things that perhaps were stuck are gonna start moving forward right different areas of your life if you're like oh well i've been wanting to manifest you know love in my life all of a sudden you're going to manifest loved ones or a lover right or you're going to manifest money right whatever it is that you've been thinking that is a problem by now embracing this new energy you're going to start manifesting all these things that at once because you were putting in so much work and so much effort you weren't able to manifest them now in the near future you have the eight of pentacles the strength as well as the queen of pentacles so in the near future i see here that you're going to be putting in the work and the effort into something okay into and i feel like for some of you guys it's it's either an idea it could be a job a new job a new opportunity but for others of you guys i see that you're going to be putting in the work and the effort into helping a connection balance itself out in the near future because sometimes you can't just leave that family member that's so annoying to you i mean they're your family right after all or you live with them or you're in the job that you're not really liking and you can't just like leave the job i mean who's going to pay your bills the next day right so there's this energy where in the near future you're learning how to get your manifestation through utilizing a different a different kind of like um a different behavior right it's kind of like again using your gentle strength okay in order to get along with this person because you and this individual you and the situation in the near future you're going to be very different you guys are very different from one another right this is a lion and this is a human they're very different from each other but guess what look at them they're like embracing each other they're befriending each other so there's this energy here where you're starting to learn or you will be learning in the future in the near future how to put in the work and the effort in a more gentle kind of way like i'll give you an example perhaps you've been doing everything for somebody right because you think that oh they don't they can't figure it out well now you're going to use your gentle strength in order to say okay you know what i believe in you I feel that you can get things done right you can help them a little bit right at first just to kind of get them going but then you know this person will have to grow up in some kind of way and do things on their own right because that's the energy there that i feel like you're embracing it's like you are going to learn in the near future how to make something work without putting in so much work so much effort because you've been exhausting yourself I'm seeing here that that's going to create stability for you, whether stability in a friendship, in a connection, in a job situation, in a family dynamic, whatever this is for you, okay?
Now let's go ahead and see who and what is coming towards you in your opportunity. So in your opportunity, you have here the Ace of Swords reverse, the Five of Wands reverse, as well as the Seven of uh, Pentacles reverse. So in your opportunity, you're going to have an opportunity here to finally face some kind of truth and cut off any drama that has been happening around you, okay? If this drama has been happening outside of your energy, like with people or one particular person, I see here that you're finally going to either tell the truth, okay, reveal the truth, or it could just be the fact that you're gaining some kind of clarity about the situation. And I do see here that based on that clarity, based on your knowledge, on your communication, the way that you're communicating now, that's going to finally put an end to this drama, to this conflict. It's going to give you the solution to the problem. I see here that also with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, if you've been feeling like you've been investing into something or someone, whether career, job, family member, love, whatever this is, and you're not getting something in return, you're finally going to see the return. Whether the abundance is going to come in, the money's going to come in, okay, whatever this is. And if you've been experiencing some kind of internal conflict, right, a lot of times the Five of Wands is some kind of conflict that may not be happening necessarily outside of you, but it's happening inside of you, right? You're finally going to be honest with yourself. You're finally going to reveal that truth with yourself that has been hidden for so long. It's like even if the truth hurts, you're going to face it, okay? And that's what's going to heal the situation. Let's go now clarify uh, your dominant energy. So why do you have here the Knight of Wands and you have here the Magician? What is this here for you? So you have here the Fool, the Sun, wow, as well as the Ten of Swords at the bottom here, the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck, I do see here that you're about to take a step back, learn how to take a step back instead of overdoing it because now the universe, guess what? It's going to bring in all of your blessings. This is your ships coming in based on all the work that you've already put into the situation, right? Learning moderation as far as doing too much, when you're doing too much, catch yourself on time. Take a step back in order for the universe to deliver these blessings to you. If this is a situation that you're dealing with, it's time for you to take a step back from that person, from that situation, because you've been doing too much of the work, okay? I'm seeing here that there's a brand new beginning right around the corner. There's a brand new beginning, a brand new chapter, and this is telling you with the Ten of Swords that the worst is now behind you. So don't recreate the worst case scenario because it's no longer happening. Now it's telling you it's time for you to heal. It's time for you to grow. If you've been wanting to be a celebrity, guess what? Look at that. The sun is there. You will be in the spotlight, okay? You're going to enter rooms. All eyes will be on you. If you want to, you know, uh, make a product public or uh, present it to the public, right now is the time to do it, okay? Because again, if you're fearing the worst, like, oh no, but what if this ends up happening? What if that ends up happening? No, the worst is now behind you. You are literally manifesting. Anything you do, say, touch, create, it's literally gonna turn to gold, okay? I see here that for others of you guys, you're gonna receive great news. Some kind of great news, it's gonna make you feel happy, alive. It's gonna be a really positive surprise, okay? This surprise comes with a brand new chapter, a brand new door opening up for you, a brand new beginning. Beginning. Step in. Step into that brand new beginning because it's telling you there's something that's going to benefit you now that perhaps before you were attempting and it wasn't happening, right? Um, some Sometimes this has to do with the energy here where you're going to have to believe in yourself and take a leap of faith even if it's like you feel a little bit afraid, right? It's like are you willing to take the risk forward? Because it, it comes with a lot of happiness. It comes with a lot of joy, right? It's like this little kid jumping on that horse, you know, if you've been doing too much, struggling too much, okay, putting in too much work and effort, now there's renewed energy coming into your life, meaning you're going to be able to manifest effortlessly. See, like little kids, they manifest effortlessly. What do I mean by that? A little kid wakes up in the morning, right? He runs to, towards his toys or towards his parents, and his parents do everything for that little kid, right? They change him, they wash him, right? They feed him. So you're going to be like that little kid. It's like the universe is going to become like your parents, right? They're going to feed you. They're going to, you know, dress you. They're going to do everything for you. So it's, this is kind of like the energy where the universe is going to start making things easier for you to manifest. Just like a little kid, he has no responsibilities. This little kid literally has no responsibilities, okay? His parents are taking care of all his responsibilities for him. So that's the kind of energy of lightheartedness that you are going to be experiencing, but it's a reminder, leave the past in the past. Leave the pain behind. Don't bring it with you. 
don't bring that pain with you little kids don't you know they don't they don't in that moment they don't bring in the pain you know they forget about things very easily right one moment they're crying the next moment you show them a, a toy and they're like back to happy again and so that's the energy that you need to embrace okay let it go let something that was very painful go okay because there's renewed energy there's good news on the way now let's go ahead and see what that is all about first let's go ahead and clarify so let's um clarify actually with this one okay let's clarify deeper what is that all about so spiritual detox right uh this has to do with releasing negative thoughts i literally cannot make this stuff up what did i tell you releasing negative thoughts negative emotions and this literally says going through a spiritual detox you're releasing negative thoughts and people major spiritual awakening cleanse and rebirth are on the horizon so you're going to feel like a brand new person again right you're going to either if this is something that you're still unaware of i'm letting you know it's a time for you to cleanse yourself your body your spirituality okay cleanse your spirit your soul your environment you know declutter get rid of anything and everything that reminds you of anything negative a lot of people keep those things i don't know why right it holds energy with it get rid of it the universe has better things for you right it's kind of like that that energy um where um i've given you guys this example and not because i'm religious some people get triggered when i mention different people from the bible okay uh but this is just kind of like something that um i've seen on social media it's like an image um where there is jesus on one side and again i'm not religious i'm just this is just like i'm detached from all that stuff it's just something that i'm letting you guys know um there's jesus on one side and there's a little kid on the other side and the little kid is holding a small teddy bear right and he's like afraid i think it's a little girl she's like afraid and she's holding onto the teddy bear like no don't take it away from me and jesus is like this one hand behind him and then the other hand extending out like you know here give it to me give it to me and that little kid's like no 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 no, no. i want my little teddy bear not knowing that jesus has an even bigger teddy bear right behind him right that she's actually gonna love even more so it's kind of like are you holding on to something that you feel like it's your being on doll of your wish fulfillment when in reality it's not right it's really not okay it's old it's outdated maybe you're just familiar to it that kind of vibe because right now you need to cleanse yourself right get rid of what doesn't serve you spiritual detox releasing negative thoughts and people major spiritual awakening cleanse and rebirth right look at that she's taking a deep dive there into the tub cleansing her energy spiritual detox if this is somebody around you somebody around you is going through their own spiritual detox okay they are cleansing and they're kind of like you know um coming into a rebirth type of energy but i feel like for most of you guys it's you let's go ahead and clarify your present energies here all right so here you have the six of wands the temperance the ace of pentacles and at the bottom here the nine of wands so look what's on offer okay this huge pentacle which i'll show you in just a minute but here with the nine of wands this has to do with some kind of an energy where right now you might have your walls a little bit up because of some kind of a negative experience that has happened right i feel that with this energy it's telling you bring your walls just a little bit lower because the universe wants to bring in these opportunities and if you know the universe tries to bring in these opportunities but there's a wall there they're not going to be able to go through so bring down your walls of defensiveness you know perhaps yes that served you at some point in your life because you know it was like um a survival mechanism right that kind of vibe but right now i do see here it's telling you bring down your walls just a little bit if you put up your walls put them up with that person from the past or situation from the past that you know is no longer for you right now let's go ahead and see what these are all about so i do see here with the six of wands of temperance the uh, ace of pentacles this is telling you that you will succeed if you are patient you know be patient with the process be patient with yourself make sure that right now you uh, balance out different areas of your life that perhaps right now you're doing too much you feel like you're out of balance you feel stressed out like oh my god there's so much happening i don't even know well you know when i'm gonna have time for this when i'm gonna have time for that so balance out different areas of your life in order to kind of you know see your days 
flow a little bit more uh, easily, a little bit better. With the Ace of Pentacles as well, you're going to be getting an offer. For some, it's a huge job offer. For others, it's a lot of abundance, a lot of money coming your way. For others, it's a job, career-related matter. And it could also be commitment. If you are dealing with a love situation, commitment is on the horizon. Okay, somebody here who wants something solid with you could be a business partner where you guys could build something together. Whatever this is, it holds potential for success. But don't give up on yourself, okay? Be patient with yourself, but don't give up on yourself. If you need to give yourself a break a little bit, give yourself a break and then continue forward. But don't give up because you have success right there. You're manifesting something. Let's see, you have your arrogance. So right now, you might be dealing or, you know, if this is a person coming back from the past, for some of you guys, they're, they're very arrogant. They were very arrogant. And so I do see here, it says arrogance. I allowed my pride and ego to get in the way of our connection. I thought I was a catch. Okay, this person may have been very egotistical, very arrogant. And so now they're realizing, hey, you know what? I let my pride and my ego to get in the way of our connection because they thought that they were the catch. Okay, this could have been a Leo, doesn't have to be, but they thought that they were the center of attention, right? For others of you guys, ask yourself, is this you in this energy? Have you been very arrogant in some kind of way? Sometimes people are unaware of arrogance, right? Are you allowing your pride and your ego to get in the way of something that you really want? Okay. For some, arrogance doesn't necessarily have to be just like being cocky. This could be related to something here where you're allowing your pride and your ego to get in the way of you pursuing what your heart really desires, right? Um, because at some level, you want to prove yourself. So this is about you asking yourself, okay, are you putting pressure on yourself doing something for someone to prove yourself to be worthy to them? Are those the right, is that aligned with your intention, right? Or is it that you're doing it genuinely, you know, because your heart wants to do it? Because if you're holding some kind of resentment, resentment comes from an energy where you don't want to really do something, but you still do it because you don't want to end up feeling guilty. But then what happens is, sure, maybe you don't end up feeling guilty, but you end up feeling resentful, right? And so ask yourself, why are you doing something right now? Whether it's an, an idea that you're working on, a career, whether it's, you know, um, a, a relationship that you're getting involved in, a family situation here. Why are you doing this? Why are you putting so much pressure on yourself? And ask yourself, what is it that really matters here what is it that you really value like i'll give you another example for some of you guys if you're pursuing your career right and you're just all about your career you don't have time for love you don't have time for family you don't have time for loved ones you don't have time for anything or anyone other than career and money right there's nothing wrong with that but i'm just giving you an example but then there are moments where you kind of like have this deep seated desire to be with family or to have a family or to have somebody to come home at night, right? Or to have somebody to text you, hey, how are you doing? I love you. Or, you know, to be in a connection. But your mind and your ego are like, no, no, no. I have to be career oriented. I have to be, you know, um, this in my life or why are you doing it are you doing it so that you get some kind of attention from outside of your environment or because you don't want to be judged or you don't want your family to judge you right so this is it could be related to anything whether you're getting involved in a career family situation relationship ask yourself why are you putting so much pressure on yourself to do this okay and make sure that whatever it is that you're doing it's aligning with your heart chakra and not with your ego and with your pride okay that's what this is about if this is personal okay um again for some of course it could just be related to arrogance and ego that simple we're going to be going into the extended reading however to see who this person is more so about their subconscious thoughts about you their deeper feelings emotions for you their next moves actions towards you how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you what will be the final result and we will end the reading with any messages from spirit so if you want to check out the link to the extended i'm now offering 50 percent off all extended readings you can find the link to that down in the description box below and quick reminder if you do enjoy these readings if you are finding them helpful comment down below because it really helps me and the algorithm that crazy youtube algorithm that's hiding my videos so again i encourage you support the channel comment down below like subscribe it doesn't cost you a thing and when you subscribe to the channel make sure that you hit that notification bell and you hit all because if you don't hit all then youtube won't notify you okay again thank you all so much for your encouragement for your support for your comments take very good care of yourself and until next time bye bye 
in the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.